you describe the farm you grew up on? What sort of school did you go to? Who were your best friends? Um, one memory about your mom, your dad, and then one memory about each of you. And that's pretty much, you know, I think that would be plenty. Okay. So, all right, all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you on? I'm good. We're good to go. Okay, okay yeah. you start, Harlan. That's where my best friend was. My future brother-in-law, Clinton Rary, went through high school, and uh, all the girls in high school were my other girl best friends. All the girls in what? High school. Uh, <laughs> were also your best friends? <laughs> That's good. Okay, Dad, what about you? Do you remember who your best friend was? Oh, I don't think I had a particular best friend. Mars Bales, I enjoyed, and Bob Sautel. Now, the Bales, were they that family that sort of rivaled your family in terms well, of... Well, they were... Uh, the father was mother's cousin, so we oh. were second cousins. Second cousins. Mm -hmm. And how many Bales were there? There was... There were about eight boys and one girl, wasn't there? I could count them, I'll tell you, but there was... Yeah, I think there were at least eight boys and one girl. And did you all go to the same school? Well, they went to Vanilla all the time. In the first eight grades, we went to... This one-room schoolhouse. Okay, so this is sort of, I knew you went to a one-room schoolhouse, but I thought it was in Vanilla. No, so it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a mile and a half southeast of... Uh, it, was, it was the Bora School. The Bora School, They okay. called it the Bora School, but technically it was Allen Township number one. Okay, so how many, um, how many of you were in, like, per grade, or in the one-room schoolhouse, when you were all there, how many students were there? And, was it mainly just the when Myers and started, the Bales? You had quite a few students. There were 17 when I started and 8 when I, I think, 8, eight. or 16. In the whole school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 8 when you finished. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't just, think... Just a one-room school. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, if I had, if, if there are more than 9 when I was there, I didn't remember mm -hmm. it. At what? There wasn't, no. Because yet one year we had 6, you know. Mm. Well, but, you, but there were more of you than that. Well, we no, at one, one time we're talking about. Time. Oh, okay. That one picture that you yeah. saw of ours, there were uh, four and four. <laughs> uh, there were, there you mean like four, four, four bales and four Myers? No, bales didn't go to school. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. They were in Manila. Okay. Yeah. In that picture, there's four Myers, three rosters, and one board. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Kerwin, how about your best friend? Well, Larry Radke. Oh, right, yeah. of course. So he was at the one room schoolhouse, or no? No, he but was not. He was your best friend. At, he the, was West, at the school room, uh, Keith Marshall. Keith Marshall, mm -hmm. okay. We got into trouble a lot. You did? Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised to hear that. What kind of trouble? Well, it was such that he ended up going to, going to Benella to school. <laughs> <laughs> they separated you. <laughs> I don't want to go to any detail. All right, no details. That 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 remains in history forever. <laughs> Darn, okay. that's the kind of juice that we want. That's what we really want to hear. <laughs> I, I think my best friend in grade school was Lester Schwartz. Lester that, that Schwartz. Was Lester Schwartz. Yeah, not part of the others. That was Schwartz. He lived there. Schwartz oh. lived over in the other corner. Over. Didn't know about those. Huh. Orville and Orville and uh, Elmer. Or Elmer and Elmer the two I know. And Evelyn, and what was the other one's name? The only two I knew about was Orville and Elmer. The other two were older. So mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so what about a memory or so of, of, of Grandma Meyer? I think my fondest memory of my mother was she never walked. She never walked? I was, I was going to mention that too. She had a shuffle trot. I can still see it. Oh my God. Yeah, all day long. And kind of a shuffle, shuffle trot. I mean, it, you know, I don't know how you explain it. Well, she went like this. She, she wore those leather, uh, I mean, not leather, canvas. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they have some kind of name, and, but I can still see her. She made it just like this. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's so Because she was working all day long. I know. Yeah. You were saying the other day that you think she only slept four hours mm -hmm. a Why well, I don't night? know. Not very much. Then two one. It was her patience. She never I don't think she hardly ever scolded us that I know about. No. She would give advice when it was needed, yeah, but she never she, scolded us. She, she would tell us better ways to do something. Yeah. But she never to my knowledge never scolded me in my whole life well, that I could remember. I was I was a bit of young early on, I was a bit of worried what 
when a storm come up, I worried about all the livestock and everything. And, and so she said to me, if you can't do anything about it, don't worry about it. And well, I couldn't. So. That's wise. I always thought, how about you, Dan? Well, I, she was an angel. Not she a was an angel. I, I agree with that. Amazing. Okay, well, what about Grandpa Meyer? What are some of your... Well, he was not an angel. But he was... <laughs> yeah, he could swear. <laughs> he had reason to. <laughs> he was swear an awful lot. No, it was, well, the only time I remember him really swearing is when the grass got too high around the house, Shelby Hauser, then he had to go in with the with the with the moor. And he cussed out those blankety blank flower beds he had to move. <laughs> and mother mother had us go in the house and shut the door when I was little, when he was mowing. Because she didn't want you to hear the swear words? <laughs> what? She didn't want you to hear the swear words? <laughs> yeah, that was her idea. And she also she when Dad was a real good friend who happened to be a good Democrat, and Dad was a good Republican, but they liked each other, and then he would come, Sim was his name, and he'd come over to visit, and Mom knew that, so she sat us all to bed, and <laughs> but we laid down on the floor upstairs <laughs> and listened to anyway. But, but you know, you, you couldn't help but listen, because it, it was so loud. Dad, was one thing Dad's voice carried. Oh, yeah. I, I don't care where we were, where Dad was, we always knew when Dad was there, because I could always hear his voice. Yeah. Yeah, and I mem remember it. Uh, Mother was up first, and she, she called us, and we normally got up and got down there. But if we were slow getting down, then Dad called, and we knew we were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember that one time we, I think when we were in um, South Dakota for the reunion, the one in like uh, near. In here. No, near near Mount Rushmore. Rookie. Oh, that went out in, in Custer. Yeah, because that's the first time I remember hearing that Grandpa Meyer was a really good storyteller. Oh, he was great. Yeah. Yeah, that was because awesome. by the time I knew him, he seemed sort of taciturn. And, that was just a Meyer tree. Yeah. Of all those boys all those in boys. that family. I mean, and in, in, in Grandpa Meyer's family. Yeah, all family, his brothers. They were all... I went. I I made a point to go to every family reunion so I could I could sit in the corner and listen to those. Because it was just unreal. <laughs> they could hardly tell them fast enough. Well, I know one time Uncle Dick was there, and they told, but I don't know if you were familiar with Pat and Mike stories. Uh uh. They told Pat and Mike stories for an hour <laughs> to each other, and they never told the same one twice. Well, who are Pat and Mike? <laughs> oh, that's just Pat and Mike. The Irishman, probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so the yeah, generic it was, Irish yeah, guy. It, wasn't, it, it was just yeah. Pat and Mike. Oh. And they, they'd tell a story, and then they'd both sit there and laugh and laugh. And <laughs> <laughs> and our Uncle Dick always told the punchline twice. Because <laughs> you didn't lie, laugh enough the first time. <laughs> but, uh, I'll tell you a story about Uncle Dick and his stories. When we went to Uncle Henry's funeral, we sat in the second row or third in church, and he came in and sat by us. So before the service started, he started telling the story, and then the, the service started, so when the service was over, he finished the story. <laughs> It was it was right up there for importance until it got over. With. Oh, that's but so you would have great. loved you would have loved Uncle. Everybody loved Uncle Dick. I think I met Uncle Dick. Didn't I met Uncle Dick? I, mean, I, Uncle I Dick. sort of doubt that you did, but maybe you did. Well, didn't they live in Iowa? Who was he, it that we would sometimes? He, he lived, they lived in Sioux City. He lived in oh, Sioux City, I think and I he remember. was. remember. Who was he married to? It was Sophie. Sophie Who? was his last. No, hand. I didn't meet. I didn't. Okay, I don't think I met no, him. No, that was his second wife. Yeah. See, I don't. I didn't ever meet his first wife. I don't think Margaret. No, if I, I did, did, I don't remember. Yeah. I did because uh, I played with Shirley. Yeah, you were the same yeah, age. We were Shirley. the same age. That's her only mm -hmm. daughter. That they had. had several kids that didn't. Uh, none of them lived with Shirley. Oh, I really? Think I think there were four. They lived as as much as I think one of them lived to be two. Most of them died. Wow. Almost right after birth, you know. Because my aunt Lucy said that she didn't know how to take care of children. Oh, interesting. So I oh, that's interesting. Anyway. All right, well, so now I want each one of you to give a memory of each other. So, like, Harlan, you give a memory of Dad, and then we'll continue with that. When, when, one of my memories of Norman was playing, throwing the baseball. Because yeah. I, uh, I think I caught him before Norman Curlin did it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he, he had tremendous control of the baseball. Just unreal. What? 
when or you're telling me. No, that's all right. I mean, but no, that's really. I was going to be a catcher, and Norman's going to be the pitcher, and I rarely ever have to had to move my mitt. And he had three pitches too. Wow. It was it was a he had a finger ball. I didn't know about dad and, and baseball. I thought you were into basketball. But well, this is new. well, I really was into basketball. I can't uh, think of how much that time I spent shooting at the old uh, side of the, at the <laughs> by the side of the machine shed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but then, so how about you, Kern? What are your had had memories of that? Norman also had a what we call a slider. It's now called a ours was called an outdrop, and it's now called a slider. And then, of course, he had a, 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 a fastball that he pitched with. So he had all the pitches. It was just, for our time, anyway, had a, with it 14 years old when this was going on. Well, you were 14 or Dad was 14? Yeah, he, yeah. he was, you know, it was Halloween when he was on the, I was 14 when I got polio, 14 and a half. On, you were that young when you got polio? Uh -huh. I didn't realize he, that. Wow. Yeah, it was on it was on Halloween when he was fourteen, and he would have been fifteen, of course, you know, because mm -hmm. this not too many months later. And, uh, I think my memory of Curlin was his interest in games. So every time we played a game, he wanted to be there. <laughs> he was the guy, he was just a little guy. He was, yeah. he was he wanted to be right in the middle of the game, wherever it was. So. Well, I had Harlan and Norman, and I had to try to keep up, even though I couldn't. And, uh, but I tried. Oh, I, always I, say I, start, did. I, I always say I started playing basketball when I was five. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you, Dad? What are your memories of Kerwin? Well, I have a lot of memories of Kerwin. We <laughs> always were great buddies and friends. And, but I don't have any specific things to talk about, I guess, that I know of. Yeah, we, we had a really good arrangement. I, 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 always, I always said we were enough different in personality mm -hmm. that he probably it's accepted he's don't want to put him on tape. <laughs> Dad doesn't want to talk about it. But we played a lot of cribbage to... Uh, cribbage? Oh, that's a great game. ...to decide who who did what chore. <laughs> the winner got to decide what to do. <laughs> so, so what kind of chores were... Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it had to do with the yeah, farm. About that. That's quite a memory. Yeah, you, Dad, you guys are enough younger than me. I was going yeah, you were, you, you, Dad got a quite a kick out of it, but then he was the one that started his playing cards all the time, you know. He started me playing, playing whist one, because he needed a partner, Norman and, and Harlan, and even though I was five, I was playing whist, which is a forerunner of bridge. Right, right. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, I don't think Lorna ever played, did no. she? No. That's a good question. So were your sisters playing cards with you guys, or were they? I don't, not, I don't recall. I don't, think, I don't remember them oh. ever playing cards. And another, another memory of my parents was that I always thought it was remarkable how well they got along and treated each other. Oh, that's okay. Oh, they really, they, they had really, really, truly respect for one of you, their opinions and what they thought and what they did. And they, how know. did they meet? Oh, that's interesting. Dad Robert. came up from Iowa. And no, he came up from Kansas. He was on the, he was on the oh, thrashing oh. run from Kansas to Canada, and he the got, what? They had, they had a harvest run back a harvest those, run, okay. where the, where they. Yeah. Where they would go through and, and, and do the thrashing for, uh, and he was on that. And right. mother was, he was, mother I think was 13 and he was 23. But she was such There a, was a 10 year difference? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. About exactly, <laughs> because she was born on the second, he was born on the oh, 18th. Was the first the 15th, time 15th. I heard that. Wow. Well anyway, anyway, uh, he always told whether that was really what was going through his head, I don't know. But you know, I said they were on the farm there, and, and she was such a lively, uh, sharp, outgoing little girl of thirteen. He said to me himself, he said, "I'm going to wait for her to grow up, and I'm going to marry her." <laughs> so he did. Wow. <laughs> so how old were they when they got married? Twenty-nine and nineteen. Wow. That I have never heard that. I've and they got that. married on. Uh, and I, they, I was born on their thirteenth wedding anniversary. Which is quite a thing. That is great. Which I hadn't heard before that that mother's parents were bo also born on uh, were also born had uh, February seventeenth yeah. as their seventeenth. Yeah. Anyway. Hmm. All right. What about memories of Harlan? I think we haven't gotten to your memories of Harlan. Uh, Harlan. Harlan was always really good. There was a time 
when Norman and Lorna played together as Jack and... No, Robert and Annie. Robert and Annie. <laughs> We're Robert and, and Annie. And of course, I wasn't included. <laughs> And, and they were sort of picking on me a little bit, and Harlan straightened them out. <laughs> so he, he was my protector. <laughs> and then I always, of course, I always remember as a you know six years younger, I was, I was so interested in his athletic abilities because he he was good in baseball and basketball, and I really liked to watch him play. He had good teams when he was in school. Well, what about the, all the, the, the sisters? What do you remember of the sisters? Or well, Cam, too, you know. Well, Cam, of course, of course, you can tell more because you're older and you can tell more about Cam. Go ahead. Oh, I didn't really, really thought about it for a long time about Cam. He, I guess the, <laughs> the, the main thing, and one of the things I told the boys about a couple of days ago, he, he had a habit of using his finger oh, like yeah, that we and, knew about that. and thumping you on the top of the head. <laughs> I don't know how old I was. I said, if you ever thump me on the head again, I'm going to beat you up. And he never, he never did. <laughs> you, you were quite a bit younger, so you must have been up in the teens. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, he was, he was a re Cameron was a real good brother, as far as that goes. He, he was really he, talented. He, he looked after us. He thought an awful lot of Elaine and they were... Now, what about Elaine? What are your memories of Elaine? Younger. I mean, obviously, you know, you were very They were, Elaine, they were the first, of course, and they were only a year and a half apart. They were. And they were always real close, even that, and then they got older and so forth. And, of course, he talked about this, see? Feel this? <laughs> yeah. But you all felt, felt this. <laughs> what was Didn't that? It? Was that Elaine? Or no, was that, that, was, that was Camden. That was Camden. I don't know why you wanted to. Don't beat up head, us, but we didn't do it anymore. I when, uh, and, and I was just, I just sit there and take it. What could I do? Because I was, I was 15 years young. When, when Elaine was young, uh, I always, she never did any outside work at all. It was always in the house. And, Elaine. Yeah, and she was read and I mean, an awful lot of books, and she sold, you know, she sold a lot of clothes. Oh, she sold all her own, I think. When I remember, every time she came home from from uh, college, uh, there'd be patterns and, and material out a lot. It always fascinated me because it was, you know, a tremendous skill and work. I think all three of the gals were great grammarians, so if we made a mistake, <laughs> we got told about it. Well, you, 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 know, you recognize Norman and I as a little mischievous, so we, we intentionally used all Long, right? You know, make them feel good. <laughs> we ain't going there. <laughs> anyway, well, what about um, uh, Leora and Lorna? Well, and Leora, Carolyn, of course. You know. Leora was the outside girl. She 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 wanted to be outside. She, all the time. she would do outside chores and she would help Dad outdoors if she, if he yeah. wanted her to. She well, she she also outdoors. worked with Grandpa when he came out. Remember. Uh, I remember when my mother's, my mother's father, Grandpa Bora, and uh, she would go out and do some things with him. I remember that as a little. Well, kid. Okay. so am I right that l earlier on this week you were saying that Lorna was too busy reading to do much around well, the no. house? Or, or well, as I remember, none of the girls really were all that great about helping <laughs> uh, mother. <laughs> And I don't, I, she wasn't I, very good at getting them help. Right, believe, yeah. believe our dad was. Yeah, was so very that, good that at respect, Grandpa was much better at getting you guys. Oh yeah. Stuff. I don't know. <laughs> mother just let him go without doing it. What, what she oh, I think she had the idea she could do it better and faster, so she that, did it. You know, and that's fact, not good. I don't remember yeah, right. Leora. I think Leora helped her mom the most. But anyway, uh, I asked Lorna one time. Said, "Is there something wrong? Why can't you help mom more? Because she need, it needs it." And, I don't know what she told me, but that's the only one I talked to. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You actually but asked her that. Lorna said, for us, we still think she had something or other that did, was, did limit her. Mm -hmm. well, I think but on the other hand, she was the best uh, rope skipper we had. I mean, she, <laughs> she, could, she could skip rope for her in some kinds. So she wasn't really physically in bad. I mean, later on they found out that she always had some kind of a heart problem. Well, they thought she had a light, at least a lighter touch of rheumatic fever. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that was the same time I had polio. Yeah, about that. Oh, time, yeah. interesting. But, how about Carolyn then? Well, with Lorna, uh, 
her way of getting out of doing it <laughs> was right after dinner she'd go practice the piano. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> Lorna, Lorna, or, Lorna or Carolyn? That was Lorna. Lorna, okay. Yeah. But, uh, I, all I can remember of Carolyn was that she, she was born in 33, so I was 11 years old when she was born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember much about her except she was about the cutest little kid I ever saw. When she was yeah. always, she was always upbeat and right front. She seemed to always yeah. be yeah. very happy. And she had, that was her whole life, that's the way she turned out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was really a, uh, it was an oops baby as we called them. We had a lot of them, about, every family had one. But from, was, from three to five years old, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But by the time she got up to where she could do something, I was gone. I wasn't home so Norman and Curlin had to tell you how she was around the house. Yeah, I don't really know. But uh, it was really a blessing for the folks because the type of personality she was, and then of course she was there. She got raised as an only child for you know, right, as because she was five years yeah. younger. Right. And yeah. uh, when she was, one one time I I, I remember, uh, we had we had uh, running water, but we had an outdoor privy. Mm -hmm. All the, well, whole, thing, the whole another time thing, you had an Another thing about privy. Elaine. I like to I like to read, and uh, and we used uh, magazines and my growing award catalog out in the privy. Mm -hmm. So I'd get out and get interested. And I still remember one day she came, and, and I was in there, and she knocked. And I went Wait, who was it that knocked? Elaine. Elaine. Okay. And, and I I was interested in whatever. We had like reader, old readers digests, and mm -hmm. they were great. And anyway, she said. She knocked again, and I said, well, if you're in such a hurry, go to the barn. <laughs> <laughs> she never forgot that. <laughs> Little old Kerwin said it about that. <laughs> See, I think we got the indoor um, toilet in about 44 or something like no, that. No, no, it was later. Uh, later. It was when, when I was in, when I was in, here in college, so it had to be uh, 49. Uh -huh. Actually. Well, Actually, I never was used to it at all. Actually, wow. the, the, the first time uh, uh, Marge, I brought Marge to the farm, is when there were toilet fixtures all over the kitchen. <laughs> Marge, my mother was quite embarrassed because it was sort of a mess. And, and anyway, uh, and then Marge always talked about, and the whole family was pretty much there when I brought her out. Brought her out, and I think Marge said, just blend in, you'll be okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and anyway, anyway, she always talked about. She went in, and there were the sisters, you know, and the sister-in-laws sitting around the circle. She felt like she was being checked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she never. How uh, did you feel, Mom, that. first time at the farm? Well, I think Marty's poo was with. Oh, was that? She was with you. I was there. I was there at that time. But anyway, yeah. but uh, mm -hmm. anyway. And Leora, Leora, uh, I told you once before that Norman and I had a, had a toy farm. Right, right, yeah, yeah. that's a good and, story. And, uh, and Leora built the buildings for us. She liked to, she could do that and liked to do that. And out so, of out of Legos or what? Is no, she no, 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 out of wood. Out of wood. Yeah. Wow. Up, we had we had all the major buildings, a barn and a house and a, that she made, remember. He may not I remember. well, I remember having them, but I didn't remember. No, the, she, the she did. did. Yeah. Well, and then, go ahead. And then we had a the only only the only thing I remember that we had as a, something to play there was a an, an iron tractor. Remember these these were like that scale, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so Cam Cam made all of our of our equipment. Cam, he, made Cam it was really wow. really good. Yeah, he was, he was, that was one memory of Cam. I can't, he, he I was still, really good about woodwork. I can still remember the, all of the stuff he made. He made he made a harrow for us and a disc and a plow. Even the plow would actually trip. Yeah, he, he, he arranged it with a lever. Oh my god. Yeah, and, and then to harvest. Remember the the plow shears were spoons? Yeah, <laughs> they, were, they were spoons. <laughs> And and then he then he made uh, harvesting equipment. We had a we had a at home we had a uh, windrower. You don't understand what that's. We cut it and it goes into the windrow so you can pick it up with the combine. And then he made the combine and he fixed it so that the reel went around on the combine. Real cool. 
We really thought it was great. Oh my goodness. That is yeah, so you would cool. really good to hand you with that. And then Norman and I played, and, and uh, the well was close, and so we thought we should have a river. So we, you know, trenched a river out and then ran the water in it. And then, it, and then if you had a river, you should have a bridge. So we made a bridge out of an erector set that we had. And uh, then we thought, well, if you have a bridge, you should, it should go someplace. <laughs> so then we made a village <laughs> out of tin cans, you know. The, the, co the, co the cocoa cans were those tall, when, you know, that was our elevators, and then the round cans were our filling stations. And wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another thing that's probably kind of interesting to you girls would be the fact that we had a top house. A what house? After, after the corn was shelled, the cobs oh, were cobs, okay. and we burned the cobs. And, yeah. we had a and, great, house, yeah. and I think all of us carried cobs to the kitchens, I mean, that's what we burned in the stove. That's that was your first job. As I started, I was given that job uh, when I was about five, of bringing in the cobs. That was a big deal. Huge. And and you bring them in to do what? To burn? start start the fire. Oh, and start Mark, the fire. Mom my, my always oh. said that she that the cob fire was the best for baking. So we had to go for her to bake. Remember? Yeah. So, cob house was what probably ninety feet from the house. Or well, it was the distance Norman and I played catch. Yeah, whatever that was. <laughs> Same place I played catch. You played catch with Norman. Yeah. So. so how long? So your your schoolhouse, your one room schoolhouse, was about a mile. From mile and a half. Mile and a half. So you'd walk there. Every Unless day. you, it was. And you had to walk there through really bitter, cold winters. And well, stuff. whenever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, if the if the as the conditions were crap, you could cut off through the field because it was a deal like that. So that'd probably make it a mile and a third or a mile and a quarter. <laughs> well, Norman would know exactly what it was. A, a mile, 231 feet. <laughs> Norman, was, going. Norman was always very but happy. I, I, maybe I told you this before. I know the boys I told them. I mean, they know about it. But I want, we had the, the south uh, 60 acres on the farm with sandy soil, and there was a slough where, you know, where water gathered normally. And Dad had uh, had fixed it so the water really drained off, but when it was dry, it blew. The sand all blew off, and I found arrowheads. So I, I went to walk in school, I put a stake on one side and a stake on the other, and I walked back and forth finding arrowheads, and that through I found over 200 arrowheads. Oh, my God. Now, do you still have quite oh, a few yes, arrowheads? Yes, one for each girl. I mounted them, and each one of the daughters got one. That one you, that one you have up with? Uh, Julius is really neat. Hand, he did a different. He did a different design on each one of arranging the arrowheads. Oh, yeah. wow. Julius is an arrowhead, and, and, yeah. and a whole bunch of arrowheads put together to look like an arrowhead. And Jane's is the neatest one. Hers was a, was a teepee, and she, that would be neat. I used all the all the real little arrows, and man, I, I mean, some of them are beautiful. I don't know how the oh, wow. claws made it, but they were just... Is there any popcorn? Yeah, I'll there? bring us some more popcorn now. Mm -hmm.